Hi everyone, I'm Dragon with you. So today we have second day of Guardians of Outland together with Legacy of the Great Ones. So let's check those two events. And first I want to announce what happens next. So yesterday they posted at official group this sequence, which says Times of the Time of the Fearless, Foundations of Power of Great Titans. And as you can guess, we need resources for that event as well. Usually they ask for energy, a huge amount of energy. So you need to think. So should you spend today or prefer to save for Titans? That's the reason why I wasn't covering to create a video. I wanted to collect more information. And only after that, let's discuss what happens. So personally, I would prefer Titans. But anyway, let's go with current event. So first of all, let's go to Legacy of the Great Ones. It's a typical part, so level up any artifact 10 times. As usual, I'll go to my lowest artifact and uh, just do an example over it. So I would like to improve Andvari. Okay, let's give him artifacts. Let's improve them. And when I'm out of resources, as usual, I go to Exchange and straight forward to my orange part. So that's how you can collect a huge amount of levels without serious effort and at low prices. That's the idea which I will just do every time I am asked to create some levels. And I can do much more than they expect for the next part. So that's how we do this quest pretty easily with all the levels required. After that, we have VIP and Emeralds, so as you wish, if you want to save them for Titans, don't spend a lot of them. As for VIP, once again, I usually had Valkyrie's favor, now I don't have anything. Spend energy and artifact chests. So as far as I see, artifact chests are pretty expensive. So if you have some artifact chests, open them. But as you can see, I can have only 10 plus 6 for two next days, so that's 16, they will not reach 50. That's why I stop at 30. And as for energy, so a typical energy spending plan of 10,000, which you've probably seen at my previous videos. And uh, we will try to complete this energy plan for the events which are online now. So instead of just planning for this event, we will go and check the one which I shop well i don't need anything except those three absolute essences so you can do whatever you prefer i will probably just go for second and third because my first artifacts are much higher than those but still in general hero war secrets recommended to focus on first artifact as for activation for the entire team and that makes sense so i just want to buff my hero that's why i think those Okay, so now let's proceed to Guardians of Outland. So here we have logins three times, we get energy for that. After that, we had some VIP rewards, spend emeralds reward, and energy. And here we will stop because that's planning, which includes some tricks. So we have two events, that's why the right column will refer to this event. And at the same time, we have season. So with Season you are able to save resources if you already did that. Well, okay, you can calculate minus for trades for every day of X3 energy. So that's the idea. You can just check the right column and remove for trades in case you use X3 every day. So up to 12 times. That's the energy spending plan for this particular event and I hope it helps you to think. So should you spend this amount or not? Be very careful not to overspend and to be more ready for Titan events in the near future. After that, we have Path of Agility, so Soul Stones of Heroes. As usual, I will go first to Soul Atriums and to the shop, in my inventory, some dolls, etc. So whatever you have. So I just want to say Start from random stuff which can bring you souls, and after that go to shop, atrium, and other stuff. So 
just random first, then fixed in that order. Okay. Finally, open chest and outland. So outland spending is casual. I'll still show it to you. One moment. So as for outland, as for outland, that's the planning. I prefer outland quest because it brings you huge amount of skin stones. And uh, yes, so I prefer completing this quest as hard as possible, but I just don't have much now. So anyway, it's not super expensive. I probably stop at 36 chests. Sometimes I can get 45, but I really like that this event does not require you to spend too much. Instead, it gives you valuable rewards. So I would focus on Outland during this event. And uh, the more quests you do, the better rewards you get, but usually I stop at 40, so the gap between 40 and 60 is huge. That's why I recommend you to stop at 40 and just do what you can after that. So that's the idea about Guardians of Outland event. I hope you can use it for your optimization. So thank you for watching, see you in my next videos, and good luck to you.